Hey guys, how's it going? I'm just giving you a quick rundown on my uh, current project right now. Um, this is a TIG cooler um, that I'm putting together. I just bought a uh, TIG here a couple weeks ago and it's set up for a water-cooled torch uh, but I don't have a water cooler for it so I'm going to go ahead and make one. Um, what I've got going on here is I went uh, the carbonator route. This is just the uh, um, carbonator motor and pump combination and it does come with a tank um, that you could easily uh, adapt and use that uh, but I just didn't want to. It, um, I thought it would be cooler to go ahead and have a a square tank like this instead of the uh, other tank that comes with the carbonator. Let me grab it real quick. This tank right here is what comes with the carbonator. Um, and I bought this uh, used, obviously, uh, I think for 80 bucks shipped. Um, so that's not bad. Um, it comes with the tank. You could easily use this. I believe this is a two-gallon tank, if I'm not mistaken. I don't 100% remember, but I think it's about a two-gallon tank. So that's more than sufficient for most people, I would think, for uh, a home homebrew uh, TIG cooler. But you'd have to cap off some of these. You know, you don't need all these things. Uh, get them capped off and you'd probably be good to go. Um, I just went ahead and thought it'd be more fun to go ahead and make a, a little coolant tank. This is just a couple of pieces of sheet metal that I cut out and then I had um, um, some friends at work uh, go ahead and break them for me and they did a really good job so I was happy with that. Um, once I uh, had them broke I went ahead and welded her up. Um, I've got my hole cut for my uh, my filler, you know, to to fill it up with a uh, coolant, but I still need to add a couple of um, holes for some uh, NPTs for uh, the in, the out, and probably a temperature gauge as well. So I'm um, still waiting on that stuff to come in. We'll see how that works out, but I don't uh, foresee any issues. But basically, I've made a frame here. I have some uh, one by one angle iron. Um, just ain't the inch. It doesn't need to be heavy duty at all. So I've, I've made that up. Kind of got everything uh, laid out here. Um, so there's the motor pump tank. And then this here is a uh, little baby sized radiator that is intended to be used on um, those, uh, like a water cooled computer, I think. Um, for some guys that really go crazy on the online gaming and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know too much about that, but this is a little baby-sized radiator. And then I've got a little computer fan here, and this is actually uh, meant to run off 120. Most of the computer fans that i seen uh, were meant to run off of like 12 volt and stuff like that. This here is meant to run off 120, uh, so that'll be perfect. I'll be able to run both switches or uh, the the motor and the fan here on the same switch just flick them on and both of them will be going so uh, but I got this little radiator bracket set up again out of the eighth inch uh, one by one angle iron so I'm uh, thinking that this here will work out pretty good this isn't bolted down I need to make some mounts um, to get it um, bolted down to the frame here for these cross members that go crossed here, um, I think this is probably inch and a half, maybe inch and a quarter uh, flat bar here. That's just some good stuff I had laying around, so that'll work for now. Um, so we've got a pretty good start going on here. Just got some uh, bolts welded on the bottom side to make assembly a little bit easier. Um, so got a good start on it here. But this will be part one, and uh, I'll try to give you guys an update as we keep it going on. Um, this right here is the uh, temperature gauge, just a regular temperature gauge out of the car. Had this laying around, and I'll be able to put one of the MPTs into the tank, and that'll thread right in, and that'll be my little probe for uh, getting the temperature sensing. And that goes up to 280 degrees. So that, that ought to be plenty. 
and then I've got a little uh, pressure gauge here up to 200 psi I've read that most of these uh, water coolers are meant to run around the 40 to 50 psi so that'll be plenty as well um, that uh, the gauges will be mounted here I'm thinking and then you'll have your on off switch uh, mounted somewhere here so there'll be a panel and I would like to get this all enclosed in um, uh, with sheet metal. That would look really slick, kind of cover everything up and uh, probably paint it red since uh, I got a Lincoln TIG so I want it to kind of match the uh, the TIG as well. So uh, again this is part one. Uh, I'll try to keep you guys updated and uh, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video.